16.4d equations with exponents, rational exponents. To multiply to 1, if we have the fraction of a over b, we would multiply by the reciprocal of b over a to get 1. We clear a rational exponent then by using a reciprocal exponent. Now recall by definition that a over to the a m n power is the nth root of a raised to the m power, where n is our index or the root and m is our exponent. Now recall that you'll need to check if the original rational exponent has an even root. We're looking at the denominator for that one. Even root meaning that you have a square root or fourth root or whatever. And in this type of situation, you get an extraneous solution. You'll get two solutions if the original rational exponent has an even exponent. And here we're looking at the numerator. Remember, these are the original. So an ex example one here, we would start off by raising this to the reciprocal power. We do have an even root, so that means that we do need to be looking for extraneous solutions in our answer. So we're going to raise this to the two-thirds power. Okay, so we have three halves times two-thirds, which gives us one. That means we have three x minus six to the one power, or in other words, three x minus six, equal to the cubic root of 64 raised to the second power by definition. So we have three x minus six equal to the cubic root of 64 is four, raised to the second power. So we get 3x minus 6 equal to 16. Now we finish solving. We get 3x equal to 22. Divide by 3 and we get x is equal to 22 thirds. Because we do have the possibility for extraneous solutions, we need to check our answer into the original equation. So that means we've got 3 times 22 thirds minus 6 to the 3 halves power equal to 64. 3 times 22 thirds is going to give us 22. So we have 22 minus 6 to the 3 halves power equal to 64. So now we have 16 square root of 16 I should say because we want to go ahead and put this in into this form to make it easier to do our calculation. Square root of 16 is 4 so we have 4 cubed which equals 64 so our answer just check. If it, not, if it did not check, then we would end up with no solutions. Oops. Let's take a look at example two. Here again, we're going to raise this to the reciprocal power of five fourths. We have an even numerator just in our original equation. So that means that we will have two solutions.
So we now have 5x plus 1 equal to the fourth root of 16 raised to the fifth power. So now we have 5x plus 1 equal to the fourth root of 16 would be 2 to the fifth power. And we will have a plus or minus because we have an even root. So now we have 5x plus 1 equal to plus or minus 32. Solving our equation, we're going to subtract 1. So now we have 5x equal to a positive 32 minus 1 will give us 31. A negative 32 minus 1 will give us a negative 33. Now we divide both of those by 5. And so we get x is equal to 31 fifths and negative 33 fifths. And we're done.